Hey there guys, right, welcome back to another awesome video. And we have a comic book review, and today's comic book review is gonna be of the Empyrean Command. Now you're probably looking at this title, look at some of these characters, and thinking, who are these guys? Now let's talk about that for a second. These guys are from an indie comic book industry. And I don't mean to compare these characters to other characters because I feel like these characters are inspired by other comic book characters in existence. However, these guys have their own originalness and individualness in their own rights and in their own individuality. But think like the Justice League of America, how big and worldwide and global that superhero team is of a thousand heroes around the world. Think like that, but kind of in that sense, but bigger. So a multiversal team of heroes from different universes, different dimensions, in different sections across the galaxy, across the universes. And they are looking to obviously stop forces around the universe and around the multiverse. This issue specifically goes into this item or this MacGuffin known as the Seal of Araman and its bigger implications on the multiverse. So this is written and created by I know there's other names here, like the last names are Bennett, Lee, Eisenberg, and McDonald, but I personally, more or less personally, know one of these writers, which was Andrew Rowland. I got to actually kind of talk to this guy a little bit, not personally, but I got to message him saying, hey, I want to let you know that I'm going to maybe talk about your comic book. I wanted to read your comic twice and get like more like familiar with these characters and review this comic book and just give my thoughts on this and a few other things. And he approved of it. And I know some other artists behind these characters. So I kind of wanted to, I wanted to shed some light on this book and I wanted to shed some light on these characters because I got to talk with this guy. I got to talk with some of the artists that made some of these characters. And I feel like these should be, I hope that, I know these are gonna be, these are indie characters and they're still establishing comics and making issues. I genuinely hope these guys do get to be a little more popular with fans and with readers and people around the world. And honestly, it's like this comic is really so good. I decided to read this twice just to get myself really like a little more familiar with these characters and get the idea that yes, these guys do hark inspiration from other characters, whether for the better or worse, there will be characters that you do now. If you make your own comic book now, you will be compared to other writers and other characters in existence in comic book history. And I feel like with these guys, it kind of, it's like a love letter almost because some of these characters, I can see the inspiration of where they came up with these characters and the origins. I can see the designs in them, what made them think of these characters. And I feel like it's like a love letter to some of those characters. And I feel like it kind of gives more, like it, you see it from a fan's perspective of the appreciation, the influence and where their love for this is because like, like you, you like me, like you, like, anyone that's watching this is probably a comic book fan or likes comics whether someone that's watching this likes comics i know there's probably a bunch of out there that like comics like myself so them wanting to make their own comic book series and make it big and somewhat start their own series and hopefully one day make something popular i can see the appeal i can see the influence i can see the inspiration again the imperial command feels like a justice league team and I mean that as a compliment, not as an insult. I really dug this a lot. I would really hope to, I really hope to read more about these characters. And this is not a sponsorship whatsoever. I literally bought this myself personally. They did not mail this to me. I didn't get this for free. I bought this and they mailed it. And although it would be nice, but hey, I don't care if I have to pay for this stuff. But honestly, I would like to really not endorse, but I kind of went away, sponsor and endorse and promote some of their work because some of this stuff is really cool. And hell, I kind of got my own little, like, I don't want to do my, I don't know if I want to do my own comic series, but hey, Spider Star is my own original character and these are original characters and I want to, like, you know, shed some light on some, like, other fellow OC characters that are out there in, in this world. So characters like like Midnight Owl and Thunder Woman are personally my favorite because I've seen the artwork and they're just 
personally my favorites in terms of their stories and I know a bit of them. I've seen a bit of their images and the descriptions and a little bit about the, their backgrounds on them. And even, like I said, I know the guy who did Midnight Owl. I kind of know him a little bit, not personally, but kind of personally. So I, 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 he's my favorite. I like some of these characters. I like some of these other characters that are in this book. Like there's Blue Jay who looks really cool. I think he's fascinating. There's some other heroes in there. Like there's Baron, I want to say Sadami, Sadami. He sounds interesting. Like there's some characters I wish that either they had their own individual series or they had their own like their own, I guess, public art. So that way people can know about these characters more because I feel like if you look up on DeviantArt or if you look on Google, you can find Midnight Owl, Thunder Woman, and Steel Wolf. That's like the Imperian Command Trinity. And you can know about these guys through the art and through their descriptions of these characters and little backstories and issues that they have, their own individual stuff like that. But I want to also know about more of these other characters too. There's a dude called Captain Unity. There's, again, there, I'm all a little more about Steel Wolf. Even the villains are interesting. These are, I'm not going to say the most complex, but there's some intrigue behind these villains there. And I love, also I love that each chapter in this issue shows the artwork and the drawings, like the rough sketches of these characters, like Blood Widow and Professor Mortis. And I think the other villain was named, I think his his name was Araman, or he was just called Lord Dread. But look at these three like here, the outlines and the rough sketches look so good. This has a real fresh potential universe here. And I gotta act like this is the most original thing. I mean, 90% of it is original. There is that like 10 or 5% that you can definitely feel like there's characters that they definitely delve influence from. And again, to the writer and the writers that are, do watch this, I mean it with love. And I mean with appreciation, respect, and as a compliment that I can see the appreciation, I can see the appeal, I can see the inspiration a little bit. I might not know it 100%, but I feel like I can get an idea. And I honestly, I for anyone that ever picks this up, I think it's like at IndiePlanet.com or something like that. Or I think it's Indie Planet. I'll have to check again. But at Indie Planet, or if you just put in Imperian Command Comics, or if you find it somewhere sold, you can find these, sell them. You can get them for online if you want to just download it. If you want a physical copy, I got the physical copy because I wanted a, like I wanted to hold this thing and actually be like, wow, they actually make these handheld. So I wanted to physically have this in my hand. I would definitely say Imperian Command Issue Zero is worth the recommendation. And one day I will probably pick up more of these and hopefully you guys do more. So I hope to follow more of your stories. But the Imperian Command, if you do pick up the comic, let me know in the comment section. Or if you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section down below. Or, or what are your thoughts on this? But anyways, guys, as always, if you like this video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do Oscars every day, if not every week. Make sure you ring that bell. I do new videos every week. Share the video with fan and friends. All the good stuff for more. Leave some suggestions in the comment section. You name it, I'll look into it as best as possible. You can go check out the short where I picked up this comic. I picked it up, like, few weeks ago or so you can check out that short i have it in my shorts playlist and i'm gonna try and do some more comic reviews not this month maybe into november because there's so many comics that i've read that i'm trying to decide which ones to review first because there's a bunch i've already covered or i've already read and it's a matter of just which one to do next but i think i have an idea of which one i'll do next but you guys will probably see that in November because the rest of October, there'll be maybe another review, maybe something else before the end of September into October because October is going to be Halloween month. So look out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.